breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to look at the latest headlines. This is CNBC, nine dead. This has actually been moved up to 11. Fire devastates California. Over a quarter million people are under evacuation. 6,600 homes have been burned, according to officials. This is one of the worst fires in history. 2018 is the worst year in history. Last year was the worst. Now it's this year. And as I said in the previous podcast, it took nine seasons to equal the devastation of last year. This is the National Coordination Center Incident Management Situation Report. You can see this came out Friday, November 9th. This shows active uh, cumulative acres, nanu nanu. You can see it right there. Now, this also talks about the fire that's going on, the campfire. People say, Rex, why are you calling it a campfire? Because that's the area that it started. So it doesn't mean that it was from a campfire. Over 70,000 acres, Southern California area, 89 new fires, four large incidents that are new. Two of these are uncontained. And then also, this is ABC7. This is the evacuation list. I'll give you this, the mandatory evacuations real quick. Simi Valley, Wood Ranch, Parkway, east of 1st Street and Long Canyon, Road to Valley, Gate Road, entire city of Malibu. The entire city of Malibu. Areas south of 101 Freeway from Ventura County line um, to Las Virginies, Malibu Canyon, southward to the ocean, the entire community of Hidden Hills. Residents are urged to take Valley Circle Boulevard towards Chatsworth, the Calabasas, all residents off Parkway, Vista Point, West Ridge, Calabasas Hills, Calabasas Park Estates, The Oaks, Monte Nido. There's, you can see here, a lot more. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Then, look at the headlines. Paradise, the entire city of Paradise, over 26,000 people. City is toast. It's gone in less than 24 hours. In less than 24 hours. Now, a lot of people have, have brought up the... Um, the possibilities of could these be directed energy weapons? Could the Chinese uh, be dealing with arson right now? Is this espionage? Is this uh, Agenda 21? And I can certainly appreciate all of these questions. Now, I've done some research into Area 21, not Area 21, Agenda 21, next to Area 51. No, it's not next to Area 51. But I'm going to show you that in just a moment. I would like to let you know real quick, this podcast is brought to you in part by TrumpCoin2020.com. If you go to TrumpCoin2020.com, use the code Leak Project, you're going to get a $5 discount on a limited edition silver coin. And yes, it's controversial. Yes, it's limited. Yes, it's silver. You got to get one. $5 discount with the code Leak Project, TrumpCoin2020.com. Okay. Now, nice thing about having good sponsors is it helps fund Leak Project, and then I can bring as much news to you, and then also talk about great sponsors, but a lot of people have been looking for ways to diversify, and if you want to get a position in silver, there's some great opportunities, TrumpCoin2020.com. Use the code Leak Project. All right, Paradise, California, lost in deadly camp wildfire. Deadly fire leveled Paradise, California, in less than a day. Less than a day, folks. And I was watching firefighters try and take out these fires. It wasn't doing anything. Some of the video footage, I'm thinking to myself, why are you wasting water? It's not even working. It, it was going from one house to the next, to the next, to the next. These winds were just, it was just moving these fires over. And you could see these, you know, hot uh, timbers coming out, just frying the house. It was just, it was gnarly. Did I say that right? Probably not. 11 dead so unfortunate. 200,000 flee wildfires in California, the Washington Post. Deadly fire leveled paradise in less than a day, AP News. So then this is the map. Let me show you the map here real quick. This is the map. If you look at the map here, it's going to show you this is the area that is in really bad shape right now. Paradise gone. This is 24 hours, folks. Think about that. Well, a little bit over 24 hours now. About 36 hours, and this is what you have. What's it going to be like three days from now? Are they going to contain it? They're saying it's about 20% contained. Big Bend, beautiful area. There's a lot of artifacts and native structures that are probably going to be lost in this area. It's close to Chico. That's a town of about 100,000. Now, let's take a look at Agenda 21 and volcanoes. Someone said, Rex, it's a volcano. There's volcanoes in this area. So... 
first of all, let me zoom out here and you can see the area and the areas in California where these fires are. If I zoom in close to Chico and Paradise, just to put it into perspective, now let's take a look at where volcanoes are. If you go to Google Maps, type in volcanoes in California, you can see a list on the top of volcanoes. But here, this is what I did. I just went to Maps. Google Maps, got to love it. Hit Google Maps. It's going to give you a list of the volcanoes. And then you can see it's all pointed out here. And then if you look towards Chico, this area, there are no volcanoes in this area, at least that are reported on Google Maps. There might be something dormant. But you can see clearly the areas north and south. But then let's go back to the California fires here, and let's zoom out just to kind of do a comparison here. A lot of fires in California, but the worst ones right now, I don't see any volcanoes close to that area. Now, Agenda 21. Let's talk about Agenda 21 for a minute. You can actually get the PDF. This is the entire 351-page Sustainable Development United Nations Conference on Environment and Development. This is in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the 3rd to the 14th of June in 1992. This is 35 years old, 36 years old. 26 years old, <laughs> 26 years old. Now, if you want to spend time and read all 351 pages, you might find something in there that adds to the conspiracy. However, I didn't find anything in there that would validate it. Now, this right here is interesting. This is a map that is simulated reserve and corridor system to protect biodiversity. And this is as mandated by the Convention on Biological Diversity, the Wetlands Project, or I'm sorry, the Wildlands Project, UN and US Man and Biosphere Program, and NAFTA Border 21. I'll leave a link for this in the video description box. So the red, as you can see, let's zoom in on this. Core reserves and corridors, little to no human use. The yellow is buffer zones, highly regulated areas. Normal use, not much normal use. I guess if you go way down there, um, but you know, once again, you can see here, here's the, the information on the bottom as well. This is a simulation based on the United Nations convention and the wild lands project, wild earth, 1992 also see science, the high cost of biodiversity. So this is the map. I mean, if you want to spend some time and study this map and look at the, uh, the list of fires that have taken place over 2017 and 2018. This will give you the, the dates, the, the amount of acreage that was burnt, the location, the time frame. You can get it all right here. And this goes on to talk about how two, 2017 was the worst on record. 2018 is now the worst on record. 70,000 acres, 20% contained. That's oh, going to get really bad. I mean, I remember seeing smoke out here from the fires in California earlier this year. It was bad. I mean, you couldn't even see the, the you, could, you couldn't even see the mountains and the horizon because of all the smoke. It was disgusting. And there's there's so oh and China there's another thing somebody said Rex China owns California. No, China does not own California. I looked into that. This is the the full map, but I looked into that. Chinese investors have spent three hundred billion on U.S. property. That's nowhere near the amount of what real estate is worth in California. And that's all over the US. That's not just in California. That's CNBC. I'll leave a link for that in the video description box as well. I think gold and silver right now, especially with the markets as volatile as they are, is, is a good, you know, it's a good option. It's a good way to diversify. So a lot of people are worried the markets are going to go up and smoke like California is. And what kind of toll is this going to have on the economy? Is it going to be good for the economy because it's going to bring jobs? It's going to be you know, new construction. Where are these people going? What happens if Malibu is toast? What happens if that town of Chico, over 100,000 people, what if it gets decimated? Where are they going to go? Where's everybody going? And then when things settle down, then what? Where are they going after this? How long is it going to take to get their house rebuilt and get back on their feet? It just seems to be the new norm, doesn't it? So clearly there's a lot of possibilities and I can certainly understand 
the, the different thoughts and thinking that this isn't just a natural disaster. However, I certainly can't prove that. And even if I could, uh, it wouldn't matter because it's the controlling the narrative that matters. It's your perception of reality. What do you perceive? And what does the media control? What do these five corporations control, if you think about it? How many people are under the influence of mind control beyond, a re beyond common sense? Matrix style almost. Walking around as mummified caterpillars that won't even question anything outside of the normal and will call you a bad person and anything they can think of that makes themselves feel better because you're questioning the narrative. Hotel California is an excellent song as an analogy of many of these horrific events, in my opinion. It's just, it's so sad to see what's going on. So many good people in California. It's a beautiful country. Amazing people out there. More questions than answers, ladies and gentlemen. Be excellent to each other and be the change you want to see.